One of the mottos that I love sharing is success at the speed of balance. So it doesn't mean that you're giving up on your pursuit of your career, pursuit of success, but you're just working towards everything in your life, like trying to build a holistic, healthy, beautiful life at the speed of balance. And balance is relative. Sometimes life is imbalanced. It's fine. It's all okay. (laughs) But your ideal is balance, right? So this is where you're figuring out, optimizing your health and self-care routines. It's making time for healing, making time for your wellness, your relationships, your hobbies, free time for yourself, right? Like, are there any goals that you have that have nothing to do with making money, nothing to do with career? Maybe you want to learn a new language. Maybe you want to travel to Machu Picchu. These are like the bucket list items. It's like when you're not worried about surviving and you're not worried about just trying to get to that point of, I need to support myself. If you're at that place where you have a sustainable enough income, you're working towards your dream life, this is where you can start worrying about your bucket list items. Like, what do I want out of life? Like, what do I want to pick up salsa dancing, (laughs) right? So this is a really fun stage, but there's also some like give and take with this because exiting stage four and going into stage five is a transition. And a lot of it has to do with your mindset because a lot of us are hardwired to be productive and to be achieving, right? If you're anything like me, it's a mindset that's hardwired into you. So exiting stage four, it's kind of a new thing where you have to be okay with not going as fast towards success, not building as fast as you were before, because obviously you want to give time for the fun things in life, other things in life. So this for me was from 2019 to present day, 2023, because it's the period of my career where I felt like I had a sustainable level of success, not saying like I was you know, where I wanted to be, but I was good enough where I could start building a more balanced lifestyle and I could stop like being so stressed out. (laughs) This is my personal journey of unraveling that high achieving mindset, unraveling my self-worth from productivity. I've made plenty of videos on this and I've, I think I've talked about this on the podcast as well, but there was a big part of my life and my mindset that I had to work through not defining my self-worth based on how successful I was, based on the external like view of my life, external validation, any of that. And so this is a very critical stage for me too, because it, it included a lot of healing, a lot of undoing and unlearning releasing these like old beliefs but it's also really fun too because you're like past the stage of like stressing to survive right I am sure a lot of you whether you're in a stressful job or maybe you are on in stage four of your dream life you're hustling and working hard and you feel like will it ever end right hopefully you get to a point where you feel safe Hopefully, I hope for you, I wish the best for you that you get to the stage five where you feel secure enough that you're not like so stressed all the time, that you feel secure enough that you could pour into your own self care and your own joy. I'm not saying that you can't do that in stage four, you can definitely do that. But I think for, for a lot of people, it's a mindset thing. For some people, they don't allow themselves to rest. They don't allow themselves to fully have fun and devote their time to their bucket list because they're like, well, I haven't I haven't achieved this yet. So everyone's going to be different because everyone's life journey is different. But at least for me, this is the stage that I'm in is like figuring out what the balance is of still working towards my career, but also designing and optimizing my ideal life, my ideal lifestyle. <laughs> 